I love you too. Hi everyone, this is Mittens, who, you know, I wish she was in more of my videos like Jinx used to be, but she usually, sometimes she does sleep, um, where Jinx used to sleep when I would do my uh, videos, right? Some Once in a while. But anyway, I just woke up an hour or two ago, and I... I've been wanting to do this, I'm being serious now. I've been wanting to do a top 10 underrated bands video for a long time now. But uh, it's, I don't know. It, 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 what, the way I'm, blah, blah, blah. but the, the way I'm gonna do it is I might even pick one or two bands that are really well known and you know popular but I still feel that they are underrated and no I'm not including the Beatles even though they are underrated <laughs> so it's gonna take me you know I'm gonna go through my CD collection really think this over and uh, decide so uh, stay tuned I'll be back so I have picked out 10 bands and like I said there's, you know, some of them are pretty well known, but even if that is the case, I still feel they are underrated. And as you must know, because my name's Canadian Stud Muffin, I'm Canadian, and I sometimes feel guilty that I don't talk about Canadian bands enough or solo artists. Although, through the years, I have talked about this band that is at number 10. And through the years, I've met them a few times. They're great guys, and they are, they're kind, I've always thought of them almost like the, the Canadian Beatles. Three really talented singers, and just great songs. They are the Northern Pikes at number 10. This is their uh, greatest hits album. And they've had quite a few uh, radio hits here in Canada. Teen Land, Things I Do for Money, uh, Hopes Go Astray, Kiss Me You Fool, Girl with a Problem, uh, and their biggest hit, She Ain't Pretty. And what I'm going to probably do is make a Spotify playlist with may maybe an hour of the music in this list of 10 bands, so I hope you check it out. So anyway, the Northern Pipes. And I'm th thanked in the credits of this album. Thanks. Oh, one more. All right. Number nine. I, I've got this recent video, The Beatles versus Led Zeppelin, like who's the better band, and it's got quite a few comments and then one person recently put neither it's spirit and although i disagree that <laughs> spirit is a better band than led zeppelin or the beatles spirit was a superb band if you've never heard them i highly recommend you do and that's why like i said i've made that spotify playlist because i know people actually listen to me and they Check out some of these bands sometimes and become fans, so thank you very much. Yeah. I think their biggest hit was... I Got a Line on You. But just, like I said, a talented band. At number nine. My favorite album of theirs is... The Twelve Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus released in 1970.
Number eight I've talked about uh, off and on through the years. And I would say in the past, you know, they've been in my CD collection for years and years. And there's some years I ignore them. I, I don't play their album, albums for two or three years. And then in the past few months, I've been playing them a lot and realizing, why am I ignoring this band? They are so good. The Undertones, and this is a, a recent compilation that's excellent. If you hear anything by the Undertones and really uh, enjoy it, I highly recommend this album. Two CDs with a lot of great music. Kind of... Uh, Really catchy riffs, short songs for the most part, kind of a punk pop feel to them, and uh, just a great band. Number seven, and I think, yeah, they, they have a box set coming out with all of their uh, early albums, and it's remastered and has a nice book and everything. I'm hoping to get that. I think it's being released in, in May. The Rascals. I love The Rascals. And, you know, in the 60s, there were a lot of times bands would not play on their albums. They'd you know, have studio musicians or the, the Wrecking Crew or whoever. But this band played on their albums. And such a great band. Lots of great, you know, singles, of course. I ain't gonna eat my... I ain't gonna eat out my heart anymore. Good lovin'. Groovin'. How can I be sure? But their albums are excellent also. Number six is... Partially Canadian. And uh, I, I always talk about this band being, uh, you know, they're known for maybe two or three radio hits, and then they're they're not they're not respected enough because they made great albums. They are Steppenwolf, and this is the one of the two excellent box sets I have on them, and this is for all of their early albums. So you know, Born to Be Wild, Magic Carpet Ride couple of others maybe that are really well known but they're underrated great band number five and Glenn Calloway from the basement recently talked to Robert Lawson who wrote an excellent book on the guess who so check out that video the guess who this is one of the many albums that I love by the guess who you know, they're very well known for American Woman, No Time, No Sugar Tonight, uh, Clap for the Wolfman. But they made really entertaining, fun albums with a variety of music in them. And this is one of the many that I love. Number four. The very first band I ever saw live. They opened up for King Crimson. Golden Earring. You know, uh, I don't know. They're they're really well known for Radar Love and maybe a couple of other songs, but their albums are so good. And any rock fan should check out Golden Earrings albums. My favorite is Switch, but this is great too. Uh, to the Hilt. And of course, uh, Moon Tan, which includes Radar Love. But, uh, and I also want to get their live album, which I did have on vinyl years and years ago. But, Golden Earring. Number three. This might be my second, yeah, my second favorite prog band. And I've you know, I've known of them for years and years and years, but it's just in the past year or so I've started buying the albums that I'd never heard before. And I think they are incredible. They are Nectar. And this is Recycled. There's Remember the Future. 
Sounds Like This, and many other great prog rock albums. Down to Earth is probably my favorite. But if, if you like this album cover, and you're a fan of prog music, and you haven't heard this, you need to. Number two is, like I said, they're a pretty well-known band. They've had some big hits on the radio, especially one of them. But their, their whole discography, I feel, is very underrated. It is Blue Oyster Cult with the very underrated guitarist, probably the most underrated guitarist of them all, Buck Dharma. And this is an excellent box set of their Columbia years. You get all these albums, then all of these two, and some live, live music. Just one of the greats. Um, yeah, they had Buck did vocals, you know, Don't Fear the Reaper, Burning For You. Albert Bouchard did vocals, the drummer. Uh, Joe Bouchard, the bassist, excellent singer. And Eric Bloom. So four great singers. And even the keyboardist sang on uh, one or two songs. Alan Lanier. So, By the way, there, there might be some outtakes at the end of this video. Okay, number one is a band that is really well known and loved. They've sold millions of albums, but I still feel they are underrated. All five band members wrote songs for the albums. Four of the band members sang lead vocals. So talented. And their producer was almost like the George Martin of the band. He was such a great producer. I am talking about the Friggin, that's right, the Friggin. Moody Blues, the most underrated band of them all, even though, like I said, they're very, very well known. I feel they're right up there with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones for the 60s and early 70s. And that is it. I would love your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and now, have a laugh or two with some stupid outtakes. Bye. All right, number four. I only have four albums by this band, but they put out a lot of albums through the feet. <sighs> Such a underrated band. Yes, Radar Love is great. Uh, so, as you can see, I went through my CD collection took out a few CDs. There, there's also some in my bedroom because I listen to music at night in my bedroom. <sighs> Take two. It is time. Yeah, I've picked ten bands that I feel are underrated and should be, e even if some of them are very popular, I, I still feel they should be more popular than they are. Number ten is a Canadian band and, you know, one thing, obviously I'm Canadian. I'm called Canadian Stud Muffin. And Sometimes I feel guilty I don't promote Can Canadian artists enough. But I have talked about this band through 30. I'm really struggling. Take two. Yeah, they have five... Each of the five band members... Right, 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 right. 